we must always place as our first priority the regaining of the freedom of these American citizens. I support our president in this move. That's how Senator John Warner reacted to the announcement that the United States is cutting off Iranian oil imports. Warner told a news conference this is no time for partisan politics, and he's been working to gain support for the president. As a matter of fact, I've been meeting regularly with the vice president and the secretary of state as one of a group of senators trying to support our president, our country, in this hour of crisis. However, First District Congressman Paul Tribble says the president's move is wrong and will only hurt Americans. Meantime, Second District Congressman William Whitehurst says he supports President Carter's move, but Whitehurst says the president hasn't gone far enough. I would cut off the export to Iran by the United States of all arms, and their uh, military forces depend upon us for supplies since they have an American uh, armed uh, uh, Air Force and Army and Navy. And I would go beyond that. I would also uh, cut off the food shipments to Iran. They are heavily dependent upon the United States for grain. And I think any nation that has behaved as they have behaved in the past 10 days uh, deserves to get this kind of treatment. I think we ought to start playing hardball. However, Warner says the president is doing everything he can right now. I can assure you that the president and the Security Council working with him have looked at all options, but they, in my judgment, are following the proper options at this time. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Norfolk.